Well, my question would be, if this is a radio with such a big screen, my iPhone, when I drop it, yes. it breaks. Yes. So I wonder what, ha what happens with that one. Okay, please have a look. Let's try it. Thank you very much, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Yes, perfect. Thank you. Morning to you. How are you? Yes, I'm early bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, my name is Wolf, W-O-L-F. You had a long flight, sir? No, that's okay, six and a half hours. This okay. is the cup of your AC. Thank you very much. It is eight o'clock with a quite significant view, I must say. Take a look here, that's the coastline of Dubai. And that's the hotel tower. So I must say, I'm happy to be back in Dubai. Happy to see a lot of friends at Critical Communications, Mina tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Today it's uh, Sunday, so that means for the people in the UAE, a working day. For me, it is a relaxing day. I can't go in this car, no problem. Hi right there, how are you sir? Alright, let's go to the beach. I believe it's Jumeirah, it's called Jumeirah 1 or I'm not sure. Near the Makato Hall. Let's take a look. System. So James, what are we up to? Uh, we're, just we're, going, we're getting a badge right now, right? Yeah, just get the badge so you can uh, go to the shakes. You need your little media badge so we can enter. VIP the badge. VIP badge. Yeah. <laughs> VIP I think badge. This is, uh, this oh, is this nice is where we should yeah, be. Hopefully. All right. Um, okay. We need to get a, a, a media sash for for Gert. Um, a, a media badge, media sash. And um, critical communications me. We were almost at the right location. Always there. Almost. <laughs> Exhibition nah, services. Exhibition services. Oh, there, 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 oh. there, there. <laughs> it's never easy. <laughs> the <it>? direction. <laughs> Twenty minutes later. <laughs> All right, we're here. So this is the thing about the media services and the vests to wear for VIPs coming into the room. Um, we walked about. What, 20 minutes? Well, 15 minutes? About that, yeah, about yeah, 15 minutes. About, fif that. about 15 minutes to, uh, to go to the information desk to get this badge or whatever it is. And then they told us to go back <laughs> um, to hall number five to get the vest. Mm. So at least we had a good morning walk, was it? Morning walk, yeah. <laughs> That's good. It's That's good. Walk, yeah. So basically, it's a media vest. It's a nice orange color, um, and that does me think about the Netherlands, actually. Yeah, good to see you. How are you doing? Good to see orange. Uh, yeah, I got my orange vest here because it's, uh, it makes you pop out. Yeah, it's Dutch, Dutch colors, isn't it? <laughs> or, or, or Dutch family. So that's. Uh, I, I didn't know there was a World Cup going on. Uh, it's kind of weird. I'm the only one officially from press with this um, orange color jacket.
actually this was totally not necessary I think. Um, Travis Hanneveld. Travis is international direct, no, director of international accounts, is it? Yes. Former role of solutions for how many years? You, you've this been, is my 11th year. 11 year international accounts. Yes. Africa, there's something changing right no, now. No, it's really what's happening with the constellation of the donors, the UN community, and also even the, the police and the other you know, ministries of African governments, realizing this connection between security and economic growth. So you're seeing a lot more projects where critical infrastructure and secure networks play a key role in actually ramping up things like highways, ports, but even job creation for youth and entrepreneurs. And we're also going to see more dialogue at, at the same table between infrastructure folks, even from Europe or the US, donors and um, government ministries making this connection. So that's that's what makes it, I would say, uh, a dynamic environment to build projects and uh, ramp up the funnel in this international account environment. with the multi-mode radio from Hightower. These are production models. Tony, these are production models, are they? Exactly, yes. they are already in, you, we can, you can order now. Yeah. I can order now, I, okay, okay, let's. Actually, this is uh, our latest product, Mo, we call it multi-mode advanced radio. It's a DMR plus LTE or Tetra plus LTE. So our users, they need mission critical voice, but now they also have some requirements for broadband data. And Hightower will listen to our customers and we have tailored this for products. And it's very, even though it has a big screen and everything looks like smartphone, it's very rugged and uh, huge to last, so it's mission critical for the for the users. Okay, yeah. well my question would be, yes. if this is a radio with such a big screen, my iPhone, when I drop it, yes. it breaks. Yes. So I wonder what, ha what happens with that one. Okay, please have a look. Okay. I'm about 1.8 uh, meter, okay? okay? Usually the drop test will be 1.2 or 1.5. Okay. So I just drop it from yep. here. Test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Loud and clear. Okay, let's check the screen. Yes, okay. Yeah, the camera is still working, huh? We are now. Yeah, fine, fine. Nothing, yeah. Everything's fine. Yeah. No scratches, everything is okay. So this is. This has passed definitely the drop test, Tony. Exactly. Thank you very much. Our pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I need to talk to this guy, actually. I need to congratulate you, Robert. Oh, thank Congratulations, you. Congratulations, right? You. It's a family company, Absolutely. is it? Absolutely. So, Third generation. So does that mean another 70 years? Ah, uh, we're, working, children, we're working towards that. You yes. have children? Yeah. Absolutely. I have one boy, he's two. He's already working in the company, right? Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Well, it was, a, it was a great celebration. I yeah, heard. yeah, yeah. We had a boat party and um, it was a lovely day on the Thames in London. Okay, this company, Panorama Tennis, is there already for 70 years, manufacturing Panorama panoramas, no, manufacturing antennas to the highest standards. You're, you're also in the US based, are you? Correct. correct. Yeah, how's business in the US going? Ah, business is excellent in the US. Uh, we've got 15 staff now in Dallas. <laughs> Seven, eight years now. It's um, not. It's going very, very, very well. That's, that's for sure. Are there any other areas in the world where you're not yet really focused on? Where you like to focus on more? Uh, Asia. Asia, Asia, Far East. That is where we want to. That's that's my next game uh, goal. So to speak. I'll bet in two years' time you'll lose. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Nice talking to you. Yeah, you too. Okay, Cheers. You. Bye. That was Robert Jesman. Uh, he's always open for any conversation. He's very nice to talk to. Um, 70 years, that's a long period actually. So many birthdays it's your to birthday celebrate. today? Yeah, it is. It's your birthday? It's my it birthday is. today. Our as birthday well. is today. Congratulations. <laughs> that's and good. we're spending it here in, at CC Mina in Dubai as well. So. No, this is Tony Gray, CEO of the TCCA. Hi, hi. Now, Tony, we have talked to each other a few times over the past few years, and we were talking about the TCCA. Uh, and the change within the TCCA, looking forward to other adjacent technologies to Tetra, or uh, uh, at least to Tetra. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, the world has been changing, that is a fact, yep. and the TCA, CCA has been changing. We've got a new job, <laughs> and we have two new board members. Indeed, yeah. 
So yeah, it's exciting times and I mean it's a lot to do with circumstance but also to be perfectly frank, some quite clever planning and thought processes by the board. Um, we had a situation where we had two vacancies on the board. One was because I decided I would like to try and emulate what Phil Kidder had been doing so well for so many years. Um, and it was a golden opportunity really to broaden the, the depth and breadth of the, the board to yes. embrace the broadband community, which in fairness we haven't been fully representative of. Um, and at the same time to, to think about this new working group, the big, the broadband industry group, which again we've had a tetra industry group forever now we have the equivalent in the broadband space. And it makes sense if you look at what has what's happening here at this event. Exactly. You know, we've all known, I mean, since from the TCCA's perspective, I had the great pleasure and honor to form and start chairing the CCBG all those five or six years ago. We've known that the industry and, and the ecosystem is moving gradually, gradually, gradually towards the broadband future. And TCCA needs to be representative of the whole ecosystem. And the timing is perfect. Absolutely, yeah. And and the best is I get to take all the credit, and actually it's not much to do well, with that's, me. Well, that's what I wanted to say, because I have seen so many of these new initiatives over the last few, actually, weeks. Yeah. I thought, my, my God, <laughs> Tony is here for only a few weeks, and yeah. these, all these initiatives, well, he's doing, he's doing a great job. <laughs> but... Uh, as a matter of fact, it's, a, it's, a, it's these, an effort, team effort. These things take a lot of time and planning, yes. so it, it hasn't happened overnight and it definitely hasn't happened on my watch. Yeah. So but I'm just delighted that I get to inherit some of these initiatives and, and build on them and take the association forward on, on a great platform for the future. We learned a lot today, is it? Yes. Yes. Good, uh, good panel sessions uh, going I think, on. I think the the great uh, uh, summary summary is the now now we have uh, walked away from from the the peak of the height of hype. Yes. And we are more more agreeing the way forward and, and doing the work. We recognize that there's a whole lot of work to be done, but uh, uh, it can be done, and we will do it. That's definitely a good closure of today. Thank you very much.